What's up guys, in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to install Flux AI locally. Now here on the blackforestlabs.ai website, you can see the awesome visuals that have been generated. When we go down, we can see that Flux has about three versions, the Flux Pro, Dev and the Schnell. Installing it from here would require some extra technical know-how. You could of course go ahead and try it in these other platforms, but this would only be a trial. However, when we install it manually, we get to use it without limit. Now, in order to install it locally, we will be using three links. We're going to be installing the stability matrix, the model, and the VAE. Now, all these three links will be made available in the description down below. Now, you don't need to worry about all the technicalities. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you all the steps to follow to get it done. Now, the first thing we're going to install is the stability matrix. Now, the stability matrix is a multi-platform package manager and a user interface for stable diffusion. As you can see here, it says it supports all these other options. Now, you wouldn't be seeing any flux here for now. However, we're going to be following the steps. So we're going to be going with the OS we're using. Now, if you're using the Mac, Linux or Windows, you will be simply selecting it. Now, when we click on Windows, it's going to start the process of downloading the Windows version of Stability Matrix. After that's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and install it. Now, for me, I already have Stability Matrix installed, so I won't be needing to download it again. After downloading, you want to start installing it. Now, during the installation of Stability Matrix, you will have the option to check the box to install it as a portable version. This is great if you want to transfer the usage from one PC to another. So after downloading Stability Matrix or while downloading Stability Matrix, we can go over to the second link where we can get the Flux model. Here on this link, we can see the Flux model. There are two versions here. However, we're going to select the one that has the V2, as you can see right here. Now, the size is about 12 gigabytes, so you might need to wait for a while to get that done, depending on your internet speed. And then while that's downloading or after it's downloaded, we can go over to this site where we have the option to also download the VAE. Now, when you get here, you want to select the AE Safe Tensors. This one here is about 335 megabyte. You also want to download it. These are the three download links we want to have for our stability matrix in order to use it with Flux. And now we have the three files downloaded. We have stability matrix, we have the Flux, model and we have the VAE. The stability matrix will come in a zip. You have to unzip it and start the installation. Like I said earlier, we already have the stability matrix installed on our computer. The next thing we're going to do is to place each of these files in different folders. So we're going to move these files into a file under data. So for the flux model, we're going to move it to data under models. And then we're going to scroll down to a folder named Stable Diffusion. And we'll paste it here, as you can see already. The next is going to be the VAE. We're going to also move it from here, open under Data, on the Models, and we're going to scroll down to VAE and move it here. You can use the shortcut for Cut and Paste, and this will do the trick. So we don't need this anymore because we have it already placed in the appropriate folder. So we're going to delete it and also these. So currently we have our stability matrix installed and we have the model and the VAE versions in their respective folders, as mentioned earlier. Now we're going to click open our stability matrix. Now after the installation of stability matrix is done and you have it open, you're going to have this. Now in case you had any issues during the installation, all you need to do is to go down here to add the package. As you can see, we have the stable diffusion web UI forge. So if you don't have it, all you need to do is to click on add package and then you have these options here. We're interested in the Stable Diffusion Web UI Forge, which is what we have already. Going back, we're going to click on Launch. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, this might take a while. So you have to wait for this to happen and it's going to open a web version for you to start the process of generating images. Great, and now we have it running in the background. It is important to note, of course, it goes without saying that you need a good graphics card. I'm using the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. Now we're going to go over here. And as you can see, we have the UI interface, which is supported by Stability Matrix. Now, right away, we're just going to go ahead and make a few changes. For example, at the top left corner, you can see it's currently on SD. We're going to change it to Flux. And the checkpoint, we're going to make sure that we have the model which we downloaded here, which is the V2. So that's selected. And we also have the VAE AE Safe Tensors, which we also downloaded. 
you have some other settings here, but we're just going to go ahead and do our first trial. We're going to do two tests and see how it goes. Before we do that, it's also important to note that you're going to have to maybe do an adjustment to the width and height according to your specification. We're going to use 750 here for the height and we're going to use 500 for the width. Great. So now we're going to go ahead and have a prompt and we're going to click on generate. And as you can see, we have the status bar here, which helps us to know when it's going to be ready. Sometimes it might take up to five minutes, but currently we have it up to two minutes. And depending on your computer and the time you're doing it, it's going to be faster or slower. But this is working and we're just going to wait for it to happen. Now, as you can see, we have this prompt and this is the result. We can see it's nice and we can have the option to download it if we want. When we click on that, we can see it's downloaded already. We can click on open. And here we have the result of what we generated. We're going to go ahead and try another one. So we're going to click on generate again. Great. And as you can see here, we have a Ferrari experience. And this is based on a prompt that we give it. And this looks cool. We're going to download it again. So this looks cool. And we've just generated two images from our newly installed stability matrix. Of course, this is using the Flux AI model and you can see the results. All of this was done locally. So this is how to install Flux AI locally.